Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you could join me for another video. It's your girl here, Daniela, Miss Four Lizard. And today I have a bunch of goodies that I want to share with you. So this is a bit of a public service announcement. If you are in the mood to planner shop, you know, go out and get you some new planner and paper craft goodies, um, now is a good time to go ahead and do that because everything at Joann's and Hobby Lobby and um, I'm not sure about Michael's, but Joann's and Hobby Lobby for sure, a lot of the planners and paper craft stuff um, is on clearance right now because we are moving into March, you know, as crazy as that is and as much as I am in denial about that, we are moving into March, we are moving into spring and everyone who has uh, who wanted a planner has probably gotten their planner already at this point and all of the new spring releases are coming out for the remainder of the year and for next year and so um, all the old stock um, is is on clearance now because stores are just trying to get rid of it so i got all of this stuff on mega clearance and I was kind of on the market for a couple of new goodies because there are some things in my current planner lineup that I've been wanting to uh, switch up, to mix up. But now with all these new goodies, I feel like I just got a boost of new inspiration and motivation. I think what I got here is really going to help me in my current planner lineup um or even for like future planning um needs so if you're interested in seeing what i picked up um at my local hobby lobby and joann's on mega clearance just keep on watching a baby i have my baby bugs here um i just finished eating breakfast and so he wants me to give him some food i have my coffee my cafecito here and let's kick this video off. I need to get bugs out of the way first though. Come on bugs. All right, so let's start off with the planner stack that I have here. Um, so first of all, I picked up a Happy Notes. This is, I think, the first Happy Notes I've ever purchased from the Happy Planner. And by the way, 99% of this haul is Happy Planner because I am a Happy Planner girl. So I picked up this Happy Notes for $2.74. I picked it up because I love the cover. I love this light pink. It's the color of my soul. I love the gold foil leopard print. I like the dividers um, that this Happy Notes has. Has. It has three different dividers, all in really cute prints, and the back also has um, a print on it as well. And I really liked the entire Jungle Vibes line that the Happy Planner came out with. I actually have the classic color block planner in the same style and the corresponding sticker book. So I really liked the design and I picked it up because I can definitely see myself using this cover at some point on my planner and I can always use more discs, I can always use more filler paper and this is a dotted line filler paper and this isn't my like number one filler paper. My number one filler paper it would probably be um, uh, grid, dot grid uh, filler paper, but dot, dotted line filler paper I can definitely use. It's very simple and straightforward and I like that the spine design isn't too, you know, crazy. Sometimes I feel like Happy Planner has too intense of a design on the spine and it kind of gets in the way of the overall spread, but the pink leopard is fine. I can definitely uh, play around with that. So I picked up this Happy Notes, really, really cute cover, and I'm happy with it for $2.74. I also picked up um, this 18-month faith planner at Hobby Lobby for $8. The cover is this light blue and it says God is a promise keeper and this faith planner is absolutely gorgeous. It has a very soft, minimal, soft color palette. The dividers are all absolutely beautiful and calming and um, I really like the monthly uh, overview pages because they're really simple. They just have the month at the top, some important holidays here at the bottom, and then just a wide expanse of um, 
dot grid paper, which I love how simple this is because it let, lets you do whatever you want with it. So because this is an 18 month planner, um, I have six months that I'm not going to use right away. I probably will try to repurpose this at some point. Um, I am definitely a believer in repurposing planner pages and redating them. And uh, you can definitely use older planners for you know future years if you just go ahead and redate um, the pages. So we'll probably start this one off here, the month of March, 2022. And um, I picked this up because I am currently struggling to work with my current faith planner. So I do have a faith planner, but it's in the color block format. And the reason why I never picked up a faith planner for my faith planning is because I feel like the Happy Planners faith line is very Christian oriented and centered. And I, although I practice elements of Christianity and I do, you know, worship God, I also am very multi-faith and I um, worship other gods as well as, you know, the Christian God. And side note, I honestly think that all the gods are just part of one larger god, but um, it is possible to venerate like different aspects of the same god. Anyway, that's a little bit about my multi-faith uh, spirituality. And so I felt kind of reluctant to use a Christian-centered faith planner for my faith because again, as I said, I'm multi-faith. But I figured that I could make it work and I really do like the format of the faith planner. I like how you have three different sections, one on scripture, one on observation, and one on application. Um, especially, I think that the the two different sections for observation and application really encourages you to take your your faith into the real world and into your real actions. And I think I can really make this work um, because the observation and application sections are pretty neutral. And the top up here, that's for scripture, reading plan, and keywords. I actually can use that not only for scripture, but also for other different, um, you know, religious texts that I like to read. I have this massive book on religions of the world that I like to, I, I'm trying to get through and read, and I try to read a little bit every week and just get a sense of, you know, just different religions in the world. And so what I could do is kind of map out my reading plan for that text, um, but also for scripture because I do read the Bible as well. And I also sometimes pick up other different um, holy texts from, you know, different cultures and different religions for inspiration. So I'm really inspired by this format and I'm looking forward to um, putting this into my current liner, a uh, planner lineup. And it's just gorgeous. I love the cover as well. I can see myself using this cover at some point on my overall planner. And then, oh my goodness, Bugs. Bugs just wants to be the center of attention right now. Good boy, look at him, he's so cute. Oh, he's so cute. Bugs, come on. And then I also picked up this baby right here. This is a vertical planner from the Disney Mickey Mouse Oasis line. It says collect moments, not things on the front as Mickey and Minnie here at the cover looking real cute. And it's also on these um, clear discs with gold um, sprinkles in them. And I absolutely adore the Disney Mickey Mouse Oasis line. I love the Southwestern aesthetic. <laughs> I love the desert oasis feeling so much. The whole vibe is correct to me. I am uh, currently living in Southern California and I also take a lot of uh, road trips to Arizona and I love uh, New Mexico and so the entire like southwestern region to me is just absolutely beautiful and so I, I love it so much. I love how the calendar is set up, the cover page. I love Mickey and Minnie just sprinkled throughout the year at a glance pages. And um, this is a 12-month planner from January uh, of this year all the way to the end of the year. And the dividers are really cute and adorable. And because we're going to start off in March this next month, I'll start off here with this planner. And I got this one 50% off at Joann's. 
And the reason I picked this one up is because I was really inspired by the monthly overview page, but also because I just love Disney Oasis. Um, and also because this is a dated vertical planner and I was thinking of replacing um, my current work planner, which is an undated Mickey Mouse vertical planner for this one. And it's gonna be a really similar replacement. It's still Mickey, it's still vertical. The only difference is that this is Oasis Mickey and this is dated. And because I'm currently using an undated planner for work, I can always set that aside and come back to it whenever I want to. But because this is dated, I can only really, you know, use it like how it was meant to be used um, this year. And so I saw this was on sale and I felt like why not go ahead and pick it up because I absolutely love this planner so much. I love the design, I love Mickey Oasis. I can always set aside my current work planner that's undated for another year and I can save myself this year the hassle of dating my planner um, every single month. And I also just really, really like this monthly overview page. I love this long to-do list on the side. I love the dot grid um, or the grid section down here for notes. I like the gratitude section. I like the little splash of color with the dates. And I was just really inspired by this planner. And I, I also really like the little uh, Mickey, Minnie, and Cactus uh, little designs that are sprinkled throughout the planner. I like the little dots kind of going up and down the spine. I love the discs. And I'm just really happy with this planner. And it was 50% off, so I decided that I, you know, could go ahead and um, make the plunge, make the splurge, and get into this planner for work. So I'm gonna be switching up my work planner for this bad boy um, in March. And the last planner that I picked up is this beauty right here. This is the vertical um, 12 month. It's a 12 month vertical planner and this one is the colorful dogs planner. It has an absolutely gorgeous cover. It's so cute. I love all the dogs. I am the proud mama of an eight-year-old pug and so I'm definitely a dog mom. And I love how the back is like the same as the front but instead of gold foil it's just like colorful. I really like how they had both of those designs. And the front just says, enjoy life. And the inside cover is really cute and preppy. It's just these bright stripes. And the cover page is so cute with the little dog there. And I picked this up because um, I absolutely <laughs> love the designs of colorful dogs and I think the dividers are really really cute um, they make me so happy I like the monthly overview pages I like the monthly pages and the weekly pages are really simple and neutral you can do whatever you want in these pages because you are so neutral and just a blank slate for you to draw on and the dividers are so cute I just like the contrast between how bright and fun and colorful and whimsical the dividers are and how neutral neutral everything else is. So I'm really, I'm really like happy I picked this one up. I picked this one up, um, it was 50% off uh, because not only did I just want it for the cover and the dividers, but um, I can definitely see myself using this next year and just redating everything. I think because it's so neutral, it'll be really easy to redate everything. And I don't mind redating a planner. Um, it is a little bit more work, but you know, I'm kind of used to or dating planners because I have worked with undated planners um, before. And so I feel like it's gonna be a similar thing. Um, instead of dating an undated planner, I'm just gonna redate a already dated planner. And this planner is so cute. I'd be willing to do that little bit of extra work and um, yeah, it's just so, so adorable. And I actually might use it this year. I might replace one of the planners I'm currently using with this one and do a little switcheroo of planners in my current planner lineup um, because this thing is so adorable. And one of my planners is actually ending in 
June. And so I might use this planner to replace that planner um, because it's gonna end in June anyway, and I might as well just start using a, a new planner because you know I only have uh, March, April, May, and June, uh, four months left in that other one. And I'm not really loving the style that I'm using um, in that planner. So I might go ahead and just switch into this one for uh, starting in March. So the Colorful Dogs Vertical Planner, really happy with my purchase there. And then moving on to stickers, I picked up four sticker books and two sheets of stickers. So let's start off with the non-happy planner stuff. So this is the Paper Studio. I got these at Hobby Lobby and these are just um, two sheets of food stickers. So I got a sheet of really cute fruit stickers. Um, I love food stickers for some reason. I like decorating my meal planner with them. I just I just like food stickers a lot for some reason. I like whenever I see really cute food stickers, I pick them up. And so I picked this one up. This one is just uh, like different types of fruit stickers. And I thought this would be great for my meal planner because I do a lot of um, smoothies, like fruit and vegetable smoothies. And so whenever I have a smoothie, um, I like kind of putting a sticker of like the main fruit that is in there. And then this one is kind of like junk food. And I also, whenever I eat junk food, I'll go ahead and like pick one of the stickers here. I mean, not all of this is junk food. Like the egg is not junk food. Um, meat is not junk food, but most of it is junk food. It has really cute coffee stickers. Um, what's this, a chicken drumstick, cheese, Coca-Cola. Uh, so yeah, whenever I have like a hamburger, I'll put down a hamburger sticker, but these just really like make me happy. So I picked those up. I also picked up four Happy Planner sticker books. Um, I picked up this Year to Shine sticker book um, at Hobby Lobby. It was on clearance for $5. And this sticker book was one that I never got around to picking up. It was kind of on my like wish list for a bit. And then I kind of took it off my wish list after you know watching a couple of flip throughs. And then um, I recently watched a video from Happy to Plan uh, with Desiree, and she was using this book, and her spread turned out so cute that I kind of like it made me like question whether I should go ahead and pick it up. And then I saw that it was on clearance, and so that decided it. I went ahead and picked it up. I like how calming and soft this color palette is. And so I thought I could definitely get some use out of this sticker book. And then I also picked up, um, this is Disney, no, yeah. I picked up this Disney Oasis Adventure Icons sticker book. This is the second one I've purchased so far. I bought this one when it first came out and um, I almost finished it completely. I think I have like two or three pages left in this book and I, I just saw that it was on clearance and I decided to go ahead and pick up another one because I loved this one so much and I like almost finished it entirely um, when I first picked it up. And because I had just bought the, um, the Oasis vertical planner for work, I was like, oh, I could match them both. And so I just picked that one up. And then I also picked up this one that was on clearance as well. This is the Wellness Warrior sticker book and it's the mini. I wish that I had picked up the like original size when that one first came out because I don't use mini planners and so these are a little bit small for me um, to use in classic sized planners, but I think I can still make them work and um, I'm always on the lookout for like wellness type of stickers to use in my wellness planner because um, I think they just fit really well, obviously, in like a mental health and wellness planner. And I am always on the lookout for this soft color palette because I like to use that palette in my wellness planner. And I think these are really cute, functional, and they have some nice foil to them as well. So I was really happy to see this on clearance, and so I went ahead and picked this one up for my wellness planner. And lastly, this is the first sticker book I've picked up in this size. Um, Happy Planner has come out with this larger size of sticker book. And when this one first came out, 
I, it was on my wish list, but I couldn't, like, I couldn't pick, uh, you know, I just couldn't pick up, you know, every single sticker book on my wish list. This one went on clearance pretty quickly, I have to say, and, um, yeah, it was on clearance, 50% off, and this is just, you know, larger stickers, um, larger floral stickers that are seasonally, um, designed, and I love myself a good seasonal sticker book, and so... I went ahead and picked this up as it was on a clearance at Joanne's. And so I picked that one up. And so that is all I picked up at Hobby Lobby and Joanne's this past weekend. Really, really inspired with everything that I picked up. I can't wait to, you know, um, modify and adjust my planner lineup for um, the upcoming month, the month of March. I'm going to go ahead and film that video now. So definitely stay tuned for that. Uh, I'm definitely going to be incorporating some of these um, planners into my planner lineup. So if you're interested in seeing how I'm actually going to be using these planners, uh, just uh, stay tuned for that upcoming video. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Let me know if you are out there picking up planner supplies at the clearance section in your local craft stores. And if so, what have you picked up? I would love to know. And I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.